Hey everybody, three things are about to happen. One, I'm going to record a little melody with this keyboard. Number two, we're going to quantize it. And then number three, we're going to smart quantize it. We're going to see what the differences are. Okay, step one, record something. Keep it really simple for this. Here's what that sounds like. Perfect. Let's take a peek at it. You'll hear that some of the first notes don't even play because they're before the start. But what do we do? We can come through and edit it, but no, today we're going to quantize. And we always quantize, if you remember the rule, we quantize to the shortest division of the beat that we have played. So we have 16th notes. If we do 8th notes or higher, it will actually remove some of the rhythms we played. 100% quantize, you see now they're on the actual downbeats. So we can do a few things with this. We can change the overall amount of quantization with a strength. This is pretty old school stuff. We can also change the range. So how far out of the range does it need to be before it doesn't quantize it at all? Again, this is something that we've been able to do now for some time. Pretty cool stuff. We can also make sure we don't have any flams. We can also quantize velocity, length, all of that stuff. It's pretty cool. But what we want to do now for number three is use one of the newer things in Logic, which is Smart Quantize. And Smart Quantize is going to take the original performance, and if you read the manual about this, it's actually pretty helpful. It talks about how it's working like flex time. So now we've got flex time. We're using the principles here to do a smart quantize, and it's using MIDI events near the grid positions. They're analyzed based on a combined weighting of proximity to the target grid position and velocity. So each of them get a center of gravity and get pulled into quantization in a much more intelligent way based on different parameters than just the starting position. Let's listen to this real quick. We still have the ability to change the overall strength of this. see look at these notes as they go up that's the way I played it so relationships between notes and chords they actually are preserved in a more organic way pretty awesome I think that as far as I'm concerned this is one of the best things that has happened to quantization outside the groove track and as your bonus today let's actually make a drummer track Let's get rid of this piece. Pull this down to this length. Let's change this to songwriter. Do something simple and softer. And let's have it follow the original piano part. On top of that, really quickly, Let's add the groove track in. Make the drums the master, piano the slave.
Wow, such beautiful music. Okay, just want to show you the new Smart Quantize, how awesome it is. See you tomorrow.